And before you head to the beach, it is important to understand how rip currents work and to, of course, check the forecast. Meteorologist Kristen Crushane joining us now. And Kristen, what exactly is a rip current? What do people need to be watching out for? Yeah, I'll show you a little graphic here that's going to help explain exactly what a rip current is. And then we'll talk about what to do if you find yourself caught in a rip current. So uh, rip currents are actually very common. They can form out on Lake Michigan. They can form out at the ocean or the, they can even form on inland lakes. You just just need breaking waves to get a rip current to develop. Uh, so this is kind of what a rip current looks like. If you see an area of water moving away from the shore and breaking waves on either side, that can be an indication of a rip current. So it's really a strong, narrow flow of water away from the shoreline. And one thing to remember about rip currents, the rip current is not going to pull you underwater. It's just going to pull you away from the shoreline, which can be scary. But again, it's not going to pull you under the water. Uh, and rip currents can actually form on fairly calm weather days when the sun is shining and the waves aren't that high. So if you are caught in a rip current, try to stay calm, don't panic, and don't try to fight the current. What you want to do is you want to swim parallel to the shoreline. So you want to swim along the shore until you get out of the current and then swim at an angle back towards the beach. If you're not able to do that, you can't escape the rip current, uh, either float or tread water. Again, you want to stay calm, make sure that you don't inhale any water. And if you need some help, either wave your arms or call loudly, yell for assistance. So a couple of other things to keep in mind. The best thing that you can do is always swim at a beach where there are lifeguards present. If you see somebody who looks like they're caught in a rip current, the best thing that you can do is try to find a lifeguard. If you can't find a lifeguard, find some sort of a flotation device that you can throw out to them. And at last resort, you can call 911. We're going to talk much more about today's forecast and how things look for the rest of the week. Ryan, coming up in a few minutes.